Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Pastor Success Isa. In today's video, God's servant, Bishop David Guidepo, stresses the need to be diligent in pursuing our life's purpose. And I bet you, it is a must watch. Kindly subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share this video so that others can be blessed by it too. Remain blessed as you listen. Now, God's servant. What is diligence? Is putting your best into any given task. Giving the best of your time, the best of your energy, the best of your resources into any given task. We've been trying to exhaust or look at the covenants of success from Ecclesiastes 10 and we came to conclude that when the covenant is broken success becomes impossible and among the covenant terms listed here is in Ecclesiastes 10 verse 18 it says through slothfulness the building decay and through idleness of the hands the house drop it through. A number of us own estates. Some of us have places in our homes that are not really being used. And you find the system just breaking down. Breaking down for lack of use. We are God's building. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. We are the temples of the Holy Ghost. And so, lack of adequate engagement brings decay. The system begins to break down for lack of use. Imagine if you lock up your room, maybe not the whole house, in the village, and you are only going there in December. Huh? Because nature has bust vacuum, all the rats in the village must have gathered there. And each one will have his own apartment within your room. Some under the bed, some on top of the bed, uh, some in your wardrobe, and they all have their portions, and they are rearing children there. So by the time you come back, you have an army of rats. <laughs> because nature abhors vacuum. Don't let rats enter to your life. Engage. Some people feel they are finished doing what they should do. No. Work is not just about doing things. It's about also learning how to do it better on a daily basis. So we have more than enough to do. You have done what is required of you for a period of time and you are learning how to do it better when next you have to approach it. So, <laughs> working to earn only makes a worker. It is working to learn that makes a leader. I'm sure you agree with me, no one hates to become a star. Every sportsman desires to become a star. It is the price that scares many. Everybody wants it, but not everybody is willing to pay the price for it. So most people won't get it. No one truly hates the top. It is the cost that put men off. The cost of getting there. As I've often said, no one can get out of life more than what he puts into it. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that also shall he reap. You can't sow a five-acre land and want to harvest from 20-acre land. No. Your acreage is what defines the limits of your harvest. In a recent data in the U.S., because of this uh, theory that the top people are utilizing the middle class to get to where they are. Okay, let's find out. And then they found out that why the middle class and the lower class people work average of 30 hours a week, the top notchers work 56 hours a week. So who is using who? Each one finds himself according to his level of input. You can't get out of life more than what you put into it. 
You can't get out of life more than what you put into it. Why won't you come to hear what this short man is saying? He didn't go to bed this morning till 3.15. Service this hour is 6 a.m. What is he doing? Doing this thing. Doing the same thing. So it's all left to you. Can I tell you this? Your future is not just in God's hand. It's first in your hand. Because when you do whatever I command you, you first, then I will set you up on high. It is you that primarily defines your future by what you do with what it tells you to do. You first. You know, my life is in your hand, oh God. No, he says it's first in your hand and then in my hand. When you do what I tell you to do, my side is settled. He will always do his part. Can I hear your amen? 